yes, but of course, you can rely on her trust, mistrust. Well, David, uh, we know that you love your letters, and so <laughs> tonight you're going to tee off. <laughs> tee off. In fact, I'm going to talk about golf, and uh, do you play golf at all, Richard? Oh, look, I've never really played golf. The closest I've got in many ways is playing a bit of bush golf, where basically you bash a golf ball and you aim it at a tree or a 44-gallon <laughs> drum or something like that. None of the fancy stuff on the ground. OK. What I'm talking about tonight is when people are out on the links, they're not necessarily playing golf. They may be playing Ambrose, Stablefoot or Nassau. Um, now, these are all variations of golf. Uh, the first Ambrose is named after Mary and Richard Ambrose, uh, who were Americans from, from Michigan, in fact, who uh, were resident in Victor Harbour in South Australia in the late 60s. And they come up with this idea that if four people were playing golf, then the, uh, you take the position of the best shot. Uh, so if four people drive off, you then take the position of the best drive and so on. So even if you've got one player that's a little bit weak, he yes. or she might actually be able to keep up and have some fun with the others. That's exactly right. Now, there could be scoring systems attached to that, uh, but certainly with Stableford, which is another form of uh, scoring, if you like, it's a uh, stroke play variation where you are awarded points per hole according to the number of strokes you take to reach that hole. It's named after Dr Frank Stableford, again, another expat American, this time in Wales in the uh, early 1900s, who came up with this format. And the last is Nassau, which uh, you would know from geography days is the capital of the Bahamas. It's not related to that uh, directly. It's, in fact, the Nassau uh, Country Club in New York that came up with this system of uh, essentially breaking the game down into... Uh, the sort of nine, nine holes, the 18 holes, and uh, you could potentially win maybe two games but lose the overall game of golf. Uh, they just sort of broke it up into smaller games. So they're all very quite uh, tricky, all sorts of club variations, but named after some interesting characters. Interesting characters, complex variations <laughs> on what I thought was already a pretty complicated game. <laughs> but great story. Thank you, David. Pleasure. Our scores, Andrew is on seven, Rhonda is on 14, as we head for some more letters from you, Andrew, please. I'll start with a consonant. Thanks, Lily. N. And a vowel, please. A. And another consonant, thank you. L. And another consonant, please. T. And one vowel, thank you. I. And another vowel, please. O. And a consonant, thanks. N. And another consonant, thank you. R. And a vowel, please. And last letter, E. I'll start the clock. Did you like those, Andrew? I got a six. A six is good, Rhonda. I got an eight. An eight is uh, just a little bit better. Let's have the six first, though. Uh, nation. And yours, Rhonda? Relation. Well, that was a nice find, David. A lovely comeback uh, from Rhonda. A good eight. Uh, relation, also an anagram of oriental that is there. And anointer, one who anoints, is also in that mix for eight. Very nice eights, and Rhonda scored one of them. Let's see if we can keep up this standard and... Uh, some more letters from you, Rhonda. May I please have a consonant, please? Thank you. G. And another consonant. T. And a vowel. A. And another vowel. E. And a consonant. K. And a consonant. D. And a vowel. A. And a consonant, R, and I'll finish with another consonant, please. And lastly, M. 30 seconds on the clock.
like that mix, Rhonda? I've got a seven. A seven for you and Andrew? A uh, six here. Six, let's begin with that. Marked. Marked and uh, I'm Rhonda? sorry, I had marked two, but I've said seven, not six. Oh, unfortunately, we yep. can't give you that then. I'm very sorry. But uh, marked, David, happy with that? Yeah, I could tick marked. It's a very good uh, six. Um, it was a tough mix. Um, what did you find, though? Uh, I found damage, and then just as anoint can be anointer, damage can also be damager for seven. Well done. Bad luck for Rhonda on that occasion, but Andrew scored six points. Let's head back to the numbers again now. And, um, Andrew, do you have a, a favourite combination? Um, I'll play safe with the family mix. Thanks, Lily. Thanks, Andrew. That's too large. And four small. And starting with the smalls, one, five, ten, nine. And the two large, 50 and 75. The target to reach is 218. 30 seconds to get there. Away, 219. One away, 219 is good. Rhonda? 217. <laughs> You're one away on the other side. So uh, we've got another interesting split here. You chose Andrew, so let's have your explanation first. Uh, five minus one. Five minus one is four. Times 50. By the 50 is 200. Plus the 10. Add the 10. Plus the nine. Add the nine is 219. So just one away. Well done, Andrew. Rhonda, what was your method? Four, nine minus five is four. Nine minus five is four. Four times 50 is 200. By the 50 is 200. Add the 10 plus the um, seven, but there isn't a seven. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Rhonda, unfortunately, I'm we're not going to be out. able to give you that one no. either. Sorry about that. There's a mistake there. Lily, we're looking for 218. Can you take us there? Uh, I can, and it's a little bit trickier than I initially thought it, it, it was because 218 is so relatively low. Um, but here's how I did it. Um, 75 plus 9 by 10 over 5, which is 2, is 75 by 2, which is 150, plus 9 by 2, which is 18, which gives you 168. And then if you add the 50, is 218. Ah. Very nicely done, Lily. Uh, Andrew also did well. Seven points. So it's turning into a very close game tonight. Andrew is on 20 and Rhonda is only two points ahead now on 22. We're heading for another break. Another word mix for you. Anti-blur. And the clue, attempt a resolution. Back in a short while.